This video will talk you through wiring the Abloy EL561 lock to the Impro Technologies RTOT2 EL. Here is a wiring table. You can pause the video here and work from this or continue and I'll step through each wire. You can pause the video between wiring each wire. Begin by trimming off the excess of the EL560 lock cable, leaving it at least 30 cm longer than is needed to follow the route from the lock connector to the middle of the controller. And then strip back the outer sheath by 15 cm to free up the coloured wires. The following wires should be stripped back to expose 5 mm of copper and connect it to the left and bottom row of terminals. And we'll, we'll start with the top here. First one is a white wire, goes to 12 volts DC. The next one is shown as gray here, nothing's connected to that. Next one down we have a link wire going from the ground terminal on this connector around to the sensor of relay one. It's just a link, it doesn't connect to anything else. And then we have a violet wire connecting to COMV, a yellow wire going to COM wire. We have a dark blue wire going to the handle terminal, brown wire going to trigger. Then there's a red and green wire going to the cylinder, an orange wire going to bolt, and the bottom gray one here isn't used. Carrying on along the bottom row we have a turquoise wire going to bolt out here. Then we have two wires going to the next terminal. Um, there's a yellow and red and a gray, a dark gray wire together in the second terminal along here. And then we have a pink one going into the loop pink terminal. The last wire from the lock to worry about is this one and it needs to be you need to decide whether you want it in the secure or the safe terminal. If you wire it to secure it means it's fail secure. If you wire it into the safe terminal it's for fail safe installation. It is recommended that you install a MOV across the relay terminals. The mobs included with the rtrt 2 el are suitable for 12 volt DC applications. Looking at the dip switch settings, you need to set all the top switches here to zero. That's all switches off. This is the door controller mode. The middle switches should be set for the correct reader option. If your lock is the EL561, you must set this to OSDP, which is 0111. It is all the switches on except the first one. If your lock is the EL560, since you're using only a single reader, you can opt for OSDP or Wigand, whichever reader type you have. Here is a table of the different reader settings available. Note that only OSDP readers can be used in two reader installations. The reader to switch is where you set how many readers are going to be connected to the reader port.